Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. On 26th December 2021, the Defense Minister Sri Rajnath Singh had laid the foundation stone for the BrahMos missile production in UP Defense Corridor. The estimated cost of the project is about 300 crore rupees. The BrahMos Manufacturing Center announced by BrahMos Aerospace is a modern state-of-art facility in Lucknow. It will cover over 200 acres and produce new BrahMos NG or next generation variant which carries forward the lineage of BrahMos weapon system. This new center would be ready over the next two to three years and will commence production at a rate of 80 to 100 BrahMos missile per year. Now there are reports coming that BrahMos NG will be ready for trials by end of this year and by the end of 2023 the trials will be completed paving the way for its production. If this timeline of BrahMos NG will be adhered, it will be a nightmare for our adversaries. At the same time, a wonderful news for Indian Air Force and in particular LCA Tejas. Su-30 MKI can carry 5 BrahMos NG missiles and LCA Tejas will be able to carry 2 of them. Each BrahMos NG missile will cost approximately $2.6 million. In BrahMos NG, the attempt has been made to reduce the weight of BrahMos by half or one third of existing BrahMos missile. As we know that the BrahMos is a universal missile. However, the air launched version is slightly different from the surface or subsurface version. The land version of BrahMos is 3000 kg in weight and the air launch version is 2500 kgs. The land version of BrahMos NG will weigh close to 1000 to 1500 kg and air launch version will weigh between 1200 to 900 kgs. The dimension of missile will also be very less with length of 5 meters and 50 cm in diameter. The range of missile is same that is 290 km, however its speed will be 1.5 times more than that of existing BrahMos missile which means it will be near hypersonic. The maximum speed of existing BrahMos missile is Mach 2.9 and it is expected that BrahMos NG will have maximum speed of Mach 4.5 which is very close to Mach 5 that is hypersonic speed. This speed will be unbeatable and very effective against seed missions or suppression of enemy's air defense missions. Now we have one more interesting news in regards to BrahMos missile. As per the reports from Times of India, the Economic Explosive Limited EEL, a defense arm of Nagpur's Solar Group, has handed over two units of the first indigenous booster for BrahMos missile to the BrahMos Aerospace Private Limited. So far, India has been depending on Russia for the booster. The three components which had originally came from Russia in the initial stages are Seeker, Sustainer Engine and the booster. EEL became the first private company to make booster for BrahMos missile. The Seeker, which is closely guarded secret, has also been developed indigenously by Research Center Imarat RCI Hyderabad in collaboration with TRDO's lab. EEL has backed the order for 20 units of BrahMos booster altogether. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and jai hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We will be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.